Friends, if you like the movies of Marvel Cinematic Universe, then you must have known the concept of multiverse. And you might also know that due to the disturbance in the multiverse by Doctor Strange due to Spider-Man Intrect in between spell, Venom has come from his universe to Hulk's universe. Although Venom's lust is fixed on Peter Parker means Spider-Man, but what happened if Professor Hulk comes in his old transformation to save Spider-Man then? Will Hulk's power be able to stop a parasite that is difficult for anyone to kill? So stay tuned till the end of the video. First of all, let's talk about Hulk. We have a valid reason by which we called him the strongest character of MCU. Because even Thor himself is afraid of this mantle monster. And the reason to be afraid of him is not only his strength, but his anger and madness make him a different level creature. This is the reason why things keep getting ruined when he gets angry. Well, if we talk about his strength, we have seen in the movie till now, he has easily destroyed military vehicles. He has lifted and thrown tanks, even tossed a giant Asgardian Fenris wolf. And he doesn't even know what fear is. That's why he didn't even hesitate in jumping on the mountain like Surtur. Didn't hesitate and started punching him. And he is crazy because he wanted to kill Surtur only because Surtur was bigger and stronger than him, due to which Hulk forgot the limits of his own strength and want to knew his potential. Powerful Thor is more aware of its madness, because without any reason Thor has fallen several feet away after taking Hulk's punches. And in the fight between Thor and Hulk in Ragnarok movie, Hulk was beating Thor so brutally, and for Thor to keep himself alive, he had to come into his awakening state. Hulk's punch is so powerful that even the giant Leviathan came down with just one attack. Ultron, who wanted to destroy the entire Earth, was defeated by Hulk. Give him sky traveling without wings. He easily broke the Hulk Buster suit that had been used to tranquilize Hulk, meaning even Iron Man cannot estimate Hulk's strength. Even when Avenger base falls on him, he can lift up the debris by his weak arms. That means now you know how strong Hulk is. But this does not mean that Venom is weak, because we have found many such evidences which show that Venom is powerful, but not crazy like Hulk. Therefore, the combination of strength power and mantle power makes him quite deadly. We have seen that whenever Venom jumps on a car, that car becomes useless. And when he crushes cars, it seems as he did not put any force. Even the units of the skilled soldiers team were not able to do any harm of him. And although Venom has not yet faced monsters like Hulk, but he is definitely not as powerful as Hulk. Because when Venom see Carnage, then Venom does not want to fight with him because Venom was afraid of fighting. Whereas you have learned that Hulk is not afraid from anyone. Well, here Carnage was actually more powerful than Venom. As we have seen in the movie, you can compare Venom and Carnage with Hulk and Abomination, where Abomination was so powerful that even Hulk was troubled by him. But Hulk does not know how to accept defeat and fear. No matter how strong the opponent is, Hulk does not calm down until he destroys him. And this is the reason why even a powerful monster like Abomination loses by Hulk in the end. Therefore, in the battle of strength, it is definitely Venom not have enough power to win over Hulk. But if we talk about durability, then Venom's durability is really appreciated. He is completely bulletproof, and deadly bullets cannot do anything to him, even when he is attacked from all sides, even when Carnage throw him down in a battle with Carnage. Then, despite falling from a height of more than 100 feet, he does not get even a single scratch. Carnage attacks on him many times, keeps throwing him here and there, yet nothing happens to him. Until now, we have not even talked about the healing factor, because if we talk about his healing factor, then even when Riot pierces Eddie Brock's heart, Venom heals him immediately. Even after burning in flames, he has survived. But Venom's durability will not be enough to defeat Hulk. But speed is such a factor that no one can compete with Venom. There can be no question on this because he has caught a grenade with its mouth. We can see its speed while competing with Riot and Carnage. We hardly get to see such an example in the case of Hulk, but the problem for Venom probably still remains Hulk, because there is no answer to his durability. Because on one side, Carnage and Riot had some weaknesses, which Venom has taken advantage, 
And now there is no word called weakness in the dictionary of the Hulk, whom Venom is going to face, because Hulk has also stood in the attack of many gunfires quite easily. Aircraft fires unable to push him back. Even with small attacks, it gets angry, and the anger make him more powerful. So even trying to hurt him means making him stronger. And even if bombs are rained on him, the bombs are useless. And abominations hit, being thrown from several 100 feet by Surtur, despite being bitten by Fenris, being hit multiple times by Thor's Mjolnir, receiving a lightning punch by awakening Thor, suffering multiple consecutive punches from the Hulkbuster, and being brutally beaten by Thanos. After all this, he does not die. The gamma radiation of the Infinity Gauntlet also does not harm to him, except just damaging one of his hand. Even if we talk about his healing factor, he can heal its own wounds instantly, and the comic Hulk has come alive even after dying. But it would be foolish to compare Venom with that Hulk. But the movie Hulk has become quite tough due to gamma radiation, and on top of that its healing factor may not be as much as Venom, but still its healing factor is considered amazing. Talking about the other abilities of both, Venom has all the abilities that Spider-Man has, and some of his abilities are even better than Spider-Man, like his reflexes, his agility, and after being so huge. He is also quite agile. He can generate webs, and the webs generated by him are completely organic, because his webs are created from symbionts, due to which he can generate webs for infinite time. Although he generates a large amount of webs at one time, then his webs become quite weak, but it is clear that Venom's webs are stronger than Spider-Man's web. And apart from webs, Venom can also generate tentacles, so that he can catch many things at once, and his tentacles can extend to a long distance. That is, he can make his tentacles as big as he wants. And yes, he can also attack others with the help of tentacles. Apart from this, Venom also has very sharp claws, which he uses as its weapon during war. And what to say about his jaws, in which a series of sharp teeth are found. With the help jaws, he can attack a lot. And he can generate high bite force and can chew a full human. He also has the ability of unlimited shape-shifting, due to which he can mold itself into any shape and can survive in any environment. Venom also has a spider sense like Spider-Man, due to which Venom can easily dodge any attack on him. And the most important thing is that he can never get tired in any battle, and Venom's symbiote can use him to create any weapon. However, despite having so many abilities, he still has two weaknesses. Firstly, he cannot survive for long in sonic attack, that is, too much sound can destroy him. And secondly, through fire, Venom can be easily defeated. And if he gets separated from his host, then he nothing but sticky mud. But Hulk is a different demon, not any sharp weapons harm Hulk. Even any type of cycle attack does not work on him. Hence, it is impossible even for Venom to make him a host. Hence, if we come to the overall conclusion. Hulk is more powerful, strong, and durable. And the anger he gets, his power also increases. And if ever there is a fight between Hulk and Venom, there is a high chance that Hulk will defeat Venom. Even Hulk can generate sonic wave attack with his hands. So Hulk's greatest strength will be Venom's greatest weakness. Well, you can write your opinion on this. See you in the next video.